a very important concept uh, related to the physiology of uh, eye. Uh, this is called reduced eye. Now, uh, the basic concept is that when uh, we think of our eye, we usually think that there is only perhaps one refractive surface that is our lens. Okay, present here. This is uh, the lens and we think that this is the only refractive surface which causes refraction of the light rays and the light rays are focused on the retina. But actually this is not the case. Actually in our eye there are four refractive surfaces or we can say refractive interfaces. The first refractive surface is present between the air here and the cornea. Okay between the air and the anterior surface of cornea this is first refractive surface the second refractive surface is present between the posterior surface of the cornea and the fluid which is present in the anterior chamber that is the aqueous chamber aqueous humor so this is the second refractive surface or refractive interface similarly the third refractive surface is present between the aqueous humor and the lens and the fourth refractive surface is present between the lens and the vitreous humor. So in this way there are total four refractive surfaces or you can say refractive interfaces which are causing refraction of the light rays. Now you know that each refractive interface or refractive surface it has got its own refractive index. So here you can see that what is the refractive index of uh, these various refractive interfaces or refractive surfaces. Uh, air has got a refractive index of 1, the cornea has got a refractive index of 1.38, the aqueous humor has got a refractive index of 1.33 and so on. So for practical purposes we uh, consider all these refractive surfaces as one surface. For ease of the calculation for different uh, refractive errors as we will study in the next uh, videos, uh, there are various refractive errors and we have to grind the uh, lenses and uh, we have to make the glasses. Uh, so for that purpose, we uh, ease of the calculation, we consider a single refractive surface to be present in our eye and thus by definition. If all the refractive surfaces of the eye are added together and they are considered to be a single lens, then such an imaginary eye is called a reduced eye. Why reduced eye? Because we have reduced various refractive surfaces or refractive interfaces into one surface. Okay? So such a eye it is called a reduced eye in which we have added together all the refractive surfaces of the eye. Now here you can see uh, there are various uh, refractive interfaces in our eye and each one has got its own refractive index like uh, just we studied the air has got uh, a refractive index of 1, the cornea has got 1.38, aqueous humor has got 1.33 and so on. And here you can also see the light rays coming from the object and they are passing through these various refractive surfaces. and uh, then they are focusing on the retina where image is formed. In a reduced eye, uh, the single refractive surface as we just discussed, it is considered to be present about 17 millimeter in front of the retina. We consider there only one surface is present which has been uh, brought together, uh, which has come together by adding up all the refractive surfaces of the eye. So we consider that this uh, refractive surface is present about 17 millimeter in front of the retina. The refractive power of such a reduced eye is about 59 diopters, okay, 59 diopters. And uh, interestingly, uh, if we even calculate the uh, refractive power of uh, all the, um, just we discussed four refractive surfaces of the eye it also comes to be very near to this value that is 59 diopters. So that is not very far from this actual uh, value of uh, which is actual uh, value of the uh, refractive power of our, our eye. 
Now, uh, an other important fact is that about two third of the refractive power of the eye is provided by the cornea and about one third of the refractive power of our eye or reduced eye it is provided by lens. Uh, now you may have surprised by this fact and uh, can you please tell me why it is so? Yes, if we have the knowledge of uh, uh, these refractive surfaces of the eye which exist in our eye then we can uh, and we have sufficient knowledge of the uh, refraction and refractive index indices then we can uh, easily answer this question. It is because the refractive index of the cornea it is markedly different from that of the air while the refractive index of the lens is not greatly different from the surfaces which are present in front and behind the lens that is aqueous humor and vitreous humor. And from the knowledge of physics we know that uh, greater is the difference between two refractive surfaces greater will be the refraction of the light. So that is why the cornea is causing greater refraction than the lens and so uh, it is uh, giving more refractive power to the, to the lens. So about two third of the refractive power it comes from the cornea uh, about 40 diopters you can say and about one third refractive power of the eye that is about 20 diopter is coming from the lens. Now having said this, having said this, although the total refractive power of the lens is only 20 diopters and that is about one third of the total refractive power of the eye, but in spite of that the importance of lens is much more than cornea. Now it is because, because we can adjust our lens and we cannot adjust our cornea. Cornea is a fixed structure while we can increase or decrease the uh, curvature of the lens to uh, focus an object on the retina. This is called accommodation. Okay? So uh, importance of lens lies in this fact that we can increase or decrease its curvature according to the situation that which object we are seeing, we are seeing distant object or we are seeing a, a near object. So according to that the curvature of the lens can be adjusted and this is called accommodation which we will be discussing in our next video. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, please like and share and subscribe. Happy learning to all of you. Thank you again.